Good afternoon, everybody. Good morning. I guess it's uh, 11 o'clock, but I, I want to first of all thank everybody for being here. Um, this is, uh, I want to thank the city employees that are here, school employees that are here, the elected officials, and I'll read them off. But um, this is something that we need to do as a community um, to set the example that we stand united in solidarity with the, uh, the men and women of Ukraine. And uh, when I asked to do this, um, they said, Mayor, we don't have a Ukrainian flag. So we bought a Ukrainian flag. We're also working right now with the church in Westfield, Massachusetts to uh, collect donations for, uh, for folks in Ukraine. They will be shipped overseas. Most of the uh, organizations right now are doing monetary donations. But um, in Hamden County, in conjunction with the sheriff's office up there, they are still collecting supplies, including medical supplies. So I just want to say that the uh, nursing homes, assisted living, uh, Hospitals in Brockton, Neighborhood Health Center have stepped up and they'll be donating. We actually have a young student tomorrow from the Huntington School uh, that will be joining us at 3.30. Uh, he's just another boxer in the system known as Brockton Public Schools. He's been collecting on his own since the invasion. So we will uh, honor him tomorrow uh, when he comes here to drop off the donations. But let me just take a moment to uh, recognize uh, Senator Mike Brady. Thank you, Senator, for being here. I want to uh, thank DA Timothy Cruz. Thank you, Mr. District Attorney, for being here. Uh, clerk, Brockton City Clerk Timothy Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Clerk, for being here. I want to recognize uh, City Councilor Susan DeCastro from Ward 4. Thank you, Councilor, for being here. Councilor Lodge David Texera, Councilor, thank you for being here. Councilor Lodge Rita Mendez, thank you, Councilor, for being here. And Ward 2 Councilor Maria Tavares, thank you, Councilors, for being here. I want to thank Channel 4 and Channel 5 uh, and the Brockton Enterprise for being here as well. Um, but more importantly, I want to just thank each and every one of you. We call ourselves the City of Champions for a reason, and we could talk about the history of Brockton, but today is a champion effort to just show what's right and what's wrong. What's right in the world is coming together to support the people of Ukraine. Brockton does not have a large Ukrainian population, but I would tell you that our medical consultant, Dr. Rick Herman, that has helped us save people in Brockton during COVID, grandparents came after the Holocaust from Odessa. So we need to always remember the history to forge ahead for the future. So today, I just want to thank you all for being here. I, I want to, uh, again, thank the elected officials. We stand today to show a strong desire and passion for supporting the brave Ukrainian men and women who are courageously fighting to save their own country. Brockton supports Ukraine, simple as that. And uh, for over two weeks now, all of us have been glued to the television uh, it doesn't matter what channel you watch, to just see the horrors of war. The Russians are bombing kindergartens and maternity wards and nursing homes. People are dying, and it's tragic. And we've, we've seen this in prior war experiences. And so what we will do today is we will uh, show our support by hoisting proudly the Ukrainian flag. But what came to mind when uh, I started to draft this speech today is what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And we say that every year at the NAACP Dr. King breakfast, but again, remember that. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And today, injustices are happening right now at this very moment in Ukraine, and the war must end. It must end, simple as that. And I do want to thank uh, President Biden. I know some people have have said, well, we should be doing more. But I will tell you right now that the severe sanctions that the United States of America and the NATO countries have done and enacted, we really are trying to use every tool in the toolbox to stop this war. And the supplies that Brocktonians will be donating are going over to save lives. And that's really, that's a poignant thing. That's why we're here today, is to remember that people are dying right now in Ukraine, fighting for democracy. And we were here just last week at the Strand Theater Fire Memorial, 81 years. And what we said that day is those brave 13, they ran in to try to save, and they paid the ultimate sacrifice. People right now are paying their own ultimate sacrifice right now when you see a pregnant woman die and her unborn baby die because of the atrocities of war. It just tears at our heartstrings. So again, I'm just urging everybody to please consider, first of all, I'm a Christian. I'm a Catholic, so pray every day for these folks that are hurting, uh, that are losing lives. But today we will uh, hoist the flag. I'm going to ask everybody to please join me over there. But I also am going to make a plug right now uh, that the Full Gospel Church 
in Westfield, Massachusetts, um, are specifically requesting thermal wear, adult socks, first aid kits, containers, plastic containers for water and liquids, medical supplies, um, paper and plastic. And again, what we're doing is we're collecting them in the mayor's office. We've already had donations, uh, box donations. We're collecting them through this Friday. We're then driving them up to Westfield on Monday. We're doing it again next week till next Friday. We'll deliver them the following Monday. We're going to continue to do that. So again, I want to thank Director Steve Hook from BEMA. They were the first one to donate. So thank you very much, Director Hook. Um, so at this moment, uh, I'd like to read a proclamation. And you know, we do a lot of citations and a lot of proclamations. We'll be doing one tomorrow uh, for St. Patrick's Day for Irish Heritage. But this is an executive proclamation. And I want to thank Davison Perez from my office and Jensen Denoys from my office and Brady Winston from my office and uh, Jay DeGrace from my office and, and Marcy from my office and Megan, our intern, and Kim and John everybody in the mayor's office, and Andrea, everybody uh, that is working together, and Jasmine, and of course my chief of staff, Sidney Merrill. At the end of the day, we're only as good as the example we set, and today the city of Brockton is setting an example for others. Uh, we're trying to just do the right thing. It's what we try to do every single day. That's what Mike and uh, the representatives do when they go to Beacon Hill every day. That's what the city councils and school committee and the mayor tries to do every day. Just try to do the right thing for the people that we serve. So today, I'd like to read the executive proclamation. Whereas on January 21st, 1990, more than 300,000 Ukrainians called for unity and independence from the Soviet Union by forming a human chain between the cities of Kiev and Ivano. Whereas on December 1st, 1991, more than 90 percent of Ukrainian citizens voted in a national referendum in support of independence with majorities in every single region in the country. Whereas on February 24th, 2022, the Russian military comprised of approximately 190 forces unleashed an unprovoked and unwarranted assault, an illegal war on the independent European nation of Ukraine. And whereas it is right of all countries to decide their own fate, foreign policy and security arrangements free from outside interference or coercion, and whereas it is crucial to stand against and vehemently denounce severe international injustices we truly are to preserve peace among the nations of the entire world. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim that the city of Brockton stands in complete solidarity with and support of the people of Ukraine. And I truly urge all residents of the city of Champions, the city of Brockton, Massachusetts, to join proudly and stand behind the nation of Ukraine and its, and its proud, heroic citizens. So again, at this time, I signally seal it the 16th day of March, 2022. I'd ask us this, at this moment, and I want to thank the custodians and uh, Brian Matter for, for helping us here, but if we could go over and we could uh, please hoist the flag in solidarity with Ukraine. Thank you.
I do also uh, want to recognize uh, Councilor Shirley Azak. Thank you, Councilor, for being here. And I, I know uh, the state representatives, uh, Jerry Cassie and Michelle Dubois, are in session today at Beacon Hill. That's why they could not be here. Um, but that does conclude the, uh, the event today here. Um, again, if you would strongly consider donating for the brave men and women, um, we are collecting them in the mayor's office. Uh, and I want to thank everybody, really, for the show of support today uh, and tomorrow and going forward in the future. God bless the brave men and women of Ukraine, and God bless the City of Champions. Thank you all.